Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night in Anaheim, the Angels got a run in the bottom of the 11th inning on a bases loaded hit by pitch and beat the Mets 5 to 4. Hank Conger hit by Jerry's Familia's 51st pitch as he worked his third inning in relief. Well, once there was uh, the runners were on base and Ibanez got the third base, uh, manager Terry Collins opted to walk the next two hitters to load the bases, which put Familia in a tough spot. Uh, he came back after going 2 and 0, but then had an errant pitch and hit Conger, and the game was over. Well, your options are pretty limited. You either play the infield in and create a bunch of holes, or you try to set up some force plays. And, you know, it's the big leagues, and I know he's a young guy, and he's, but he actually has thrown the ball very well lately, and I wasn't worried about him walking anybody. I just said, we got to, you know, you got to do what you're supposed to do, and that is to get a force out at the plate and go down to the bottom of the lineup if you can. You know, Conger hasn't played a lot, uh, so he. Play the uh, play the cards. No, I just he said if I feel alright, he said yes. I can keep going. My own is very good. And I feel like I can keep pitching. You know, we have uh, Valverde and Landon. And if you you save Valverde for a save, uh, if they happen to tie the game up, you better have somebody behind him. That's John Landon. So that was all we had. That's that early offense against Tyler Skaggs, a home run by Travis Darno, a two-run double by Josh Satin in the fourth, but the Mets never scored again. Yeah, I thought the key for the offense was, as we spent so much time talking about Duda and Davis, guy who played first today, Josh Satin had the big hit. Uh, Dylan G, another solid effort. It wasn't as good as his first two efforts because he didn't have his control today, but then he got late into the game. He had a two-run lead, and he gave up a two-run home run, something similar to the first two starts. Really frustrating. Um, you know, today was just not a good outing, really all around. I felt didn't feel very good today. Uh, struggled with command, obviously walking as many guys as I did. So uh, just tried to battle through it, but uh, you know, had a rough uh, last one again. You know, the way that game was going along and early in the game, you, you're saying, well, we're going to get you know at least seven innings out of Dylan tonight, and you look up and you got to take him out at barely after five. And matter of fact, when he went out there in the sixth inning, you when he pitched a freeze, so I didn't like that either. But when he struck free side, I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe we can get the next guy and, you know, couldn't get out of the inning. So the Mets dropped the opening game of the series here in Anaheim. Game two of the series will be on Saturday, 9 o'clock the start. Game will be on picks 11 with Jonathan Neese on the mound for the Mets against Jared Weaver. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.